Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day out there, just a bit windy, so we're inside the car again. Today I'm going to be fitting a bucket seat. So before we get started, there's a few things I want to do, and that's measure the height. All right, standard's about eight inches. So just to help me a bit, I put a bit of uh, yellow tape in there just to mark where the front of the seat sits. So when I put the bucket in, I'm not guessing. To mount this front bit underneath, I'm gonna get this rail, grind it off, put it underneath and cut a, cut a lip out of it so it sits underneath. It'll be obvious in a minute once I'm a grinding to show you how I'm gonna do it. The back away after cut anything away, I'll just hopefully be able to uh, bolt it underneath. Gonna undo these four and see if I can get the uh, seat away from the rails. Gonna take these two off, see if I can get the uh, back off. I'm gonna grind off these two dimples to see if I can release this bit that I need. Right, that didn't work, so I'm going to take off this end and see if I can slide the bit I need off. So, I bend this out. See, I've taken off that end. One of the metal clips like that, that had come out. I just basically smashed it here with a hammer. And that the bit I need. However, I need to make it upside down. So these clips here will end up underneath here. That clip there will end up underneath there. See all this bit here is wrecked. So I bend these out of the way. And the next bit I bend out of the way is this little bit here. So bend these out of the way and then that little bit. That's one of the metal safety clips. There you go, that's one of the ones you just need to get out of the way. Keep smashing it, see if I can get this one off. Right, you don't need to take that off. All you actually need to do is take those pimples off, bend that out of the way, and smack the hole off. That's what you get, another rail. Right, I've just uh, put the seat back in, best I can. And it sits almost like exactly the same as standard, maybe a little bit higher. But like I said at the start, this, this rail here, I need to feed it. It's gonna be underneath here. And this bit here is gonna be underneath here. So I should lose all that height there. And before I go and cut it, that's why I cut that little bit in there to make it the right shape. Obviously, it's going to give it a bit of strength that way as well. Because the bit which used to go in there, you haven't got anymore. All right, that's that bit build drilled out. It's coming away slowly. Might be a little tack welder now that I have to uh, chisel out. It's off. Well, that's the bracket done, it just needs welding. So obviously this used to live underneath here and that used to live underneath there. But I've changed it all around. So it drops it quite a substantial amount 20 mil maybe be much better just got to weld it around here now and weld it because obviously originally it was welded as well so that adds some strength to it i'm going to fit it to the car see how it feels before i weld it i'm going to make that hole there bigger so that bolt there sits in it and again that'll be right like the original one which used to sit in there 
again give it a bit more rigidity than like OEM. So standard rail as you can see sits on top me just flipped it and put it underneath now and it's that's rigid when I weld it it's gonna be even better I thought it was gonna be a bit chip short but actually once that bolts through that hole it's even flatter and it's welded it's gonna be really good you're like oh there's so much to do but there's only two to do this there isn't the other side bracket to do so hopefully this one will be slightly easier so it's the rear end I've uh, pressed it with the vise to get as close as I can to reshape it and um, the nut and bolt pulls it really close together so it'd be really good to weld now and um, I can put a spot weld in there fill that in with weld it's gonna be good I'm happy with that so that's the rear end just the front to do now that's the main one out from the front it's just a little spot with just there I'm gonna draw that spot weld out it should come off easy and there's the rails mocked up needs welding I'm not actually happy with the way the suit sits in but I'm gonna end the video there because I'm really tempted to do with something a lot of people might not agree with rather than mount the seat on top of these rails I mount right underneath if I do that's gonna give me another 20 mil lower might get a helmet in the car after all anyway there we go.